Welcome back to another one guys. We are two days out from waterfowl season. 2021 waterfowl season. So today we're gonna to go do a little bit of scouting. Now it's kind of raining a little bit. I wanna get back to the new blind that we made. I say we made, I didn't make it. Paul made it and the friends made it. And uh, we're gonna get back and I'm gonna show you that. It's apparently all brushed in. But I gotta stop at a couple of spots here. We're at our first spot here. And uh, it doesn't look like there's anything in it, but have a look. All right, so that's a pretty big pond. It's uh, just about one o'clock in the afternoon. There's nothing in there right now. In the mornings, it's usually loaded, uh, both ducks and geese. There's also a second pond there. Um, it's surrounded by trees, so I can't really see what's in it. We have had our butts handed to us for the past two days with rain. And I mean, it's a lot of rain. So I won't be walking through that field to go check out the other pond, but otherwise I'll be coming out with 50 pounds of weight on each foot. But uh, normally the other pond will hold a lot of ducks, both morning and evening. Right now there's nothing there, like I said, it's midday. So we're gonna move on down to the blind. We're gonna have a look down there and it is raining still a little bit. I see some uh, dirt clouds coming in. Hopefully I can get this in before it downpours on me, but let's go check out the new blind. All right, we made it to our second spot. It's gonna be right out there. Sorry about that. My debate is, do I bring this camera or just my GoPro? Because it's looking like it's gonna downpour on us yet again. I really don't wanna mess this camera up, but. I'm gonna bring it anyways. I'll have to hide it in my coat if it starts pouring, but let's get down there, let's check this out. I do have a pickup truck sitting on the other side of the creek over there. Not quite sure why it's down here. Let's go look. All right, so here's what we're looking at, guys. Here's the uh, creek. There's a truck in question. I'm not sure why it's down here. That's where we're parked. We gotta walk about two or 300 meters. You guys have been here before. We get to the blind, when we get there, we're gonna have a quick look look off in the distance there it looks kind of misty like something's coming looks like Paul's been doing a little bit of maintenance down here wood duck boxes well here we are back side of the blind Look at the room. There's the view. Well guys, you did an outstanding job on this. This thing is huge, huge. You usually fit five guys in here. You're sitting down, you can see what's going on here. That's head high. And away you go. Early season, we're mostly going to get down here some wood ducks. Later in the season, the mallards will be down here. As you can see, it looks like we got some more nasty weather coming on. We don't need any more rain. 
All right, so I'm not sure when you guys are watching this. As you can see, uh, it's starting to rain a little bit more. As of the time I'm recording this, it's two days out from duck season. I'm not sure when you guys are watching this, but getting a little excited. Weather's changing. Look at that. That view is phenomenal. It never gets old. I want to thank Paul for allowing me to come out here and use this property to hunt. Uh, again, the guy just lets me do whatever I want out here, and I appreciate that very much. You don't find too many people like that. This is awesome. Did I say it's awesome? It's awesome. All right, I gotta try and beat the rain back to my truck without breaking a hip. Great, that's just perfect. I am excited for opening day. It's gonna be a good time. Whether we shoot anything or not, it'll be a good time. Like I've always said, any time spent in the outdoors is a good time. What else would I be doing? Sitting on the couch watching TV? And miss all this? Look at all this. Hell no. And I think I mentioned before, later on in the season when everything gets locked up with ice, fields usually open a little bit. When these beans are gone, there's water standing. There's usually a couple hundred square feet of standing water in the field. Load with ducks. Just a matter of sitting on the bank, hiding, and getting dinner. Alright, so you guys can see this area right in here. And over in here, that's usually where the standing water is. Just sit on the bank and wait. Not quite sure what I was thinking, but I should have wore boots. Why I didn't wear boots, I have no clue. So most of you guys know that every year I make myself a new set of calls. This year is my goose call. A duck call. I really, really like this duck call. Of course I got my Drake whistle. I didn't make the Drake whistle. What a miserable day. Miserable. It's now dark. It's been drizzling and raining all day. Not a long video today, guys. Just want to take you out scouting a little bit. I got to string up some decoys. I don't think you all want to watch me string up any decoys. That's not the most exciting thing in the world. However, we did go scouting today. You can see a couple of spots. You know where I'm going to be on Saturday. But the main reason for the video is this. If you can, take somebody new hunting or take a young person hunting. Introduce them to the outdoors. Show them how fun it is. Be responsible. Be safe. When you go out on Saturday morning for the waterfowl opener, be safe. Have fun. Have a good time. In fact, I'm just looking down at my waders. I know I got to hold my waders. Guess I better get patched in that. I'm going to string up my decoys. Um, also got the old boom stick out here. I got to oil this thing up. Make sure it's ready to go. No problems. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Get out there and enjoy the outdoors and take somebody new or somebody young with you. Let them experience what you experience, and we'll all have a good time. Anyway, see you on the next one. Later.